and uh, we're Legendary Sniff, and we're back with the best game ever, except for Legend of K. Shovel Knight. I'm Anthony. My name is Jack. Let's get into it. So, the thing that was said was, I'm going to be so sad because I can't play this game until we come back. Yeah. So, what did I do? You played the game. I played the game. Back. I got to the like the last boss, but I didn't. Piece I didn't. Shit. I didn't beat them. I didn't beat the boss, but I got to the last boss. Look at the lovely horse person. This is the bard. You go through and you find music sheets <coughs> and you can give them to him, and then uh, you can just walk up to them and play them whenever you want. Yeah, we saw that in the first. Did one. we? Then how come I can't go past the village? I don't know. I don't know. Gastronomer? Is that even a thing? No, he makes the. Uh, Oh, we were downstairs, right? Me yes. Yeah, we yeah were. I went down here, and there was, like, these three people. Each of them, like, like this one, she tells you to do something, and she'll give you something. Spectre Knight, if someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them the greatest treasure. This dude. Those keg things make me want root beer so bad. <laughs> this chick tells you, like, uh, all your stats, like, th th what you've dug, how much gold you have, how many times you've died, how long you've been playing. Did we already go over here? Sleeper oh, yeah, room, huh? I did that whole, like, bull crap with her. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. She throws up all the potions. Uh, maybe. I just, mm. This is a frog man. Is this is good? an annoying man. And this guy, if you go through a lot, he has all, like, the things that you can buy, like a fishing rod and an orb of boundless, but I never used those in my other gameplay, so I don't think I need those two items. All right. I'll take yeah. your word for it. So we're going to go through the town, and we're just going to... Keep trekking on through this game. Oh yeah, root beer. You can hit this away from her. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> she's still happy that you're doing it. It's fine. Lady, come over here. We they have a new thing now called the Keurig Cold. Oh yeah. And uh, it's basically a Keurig that makes cold beverages. Yep. It's pretty much what you'd expect it to be. And uh, they had a demonstration at the mall in our area. Good. We, we walked up to it, and this guy's like, hey, you guys want a, a free drink? And we're like... Did a guy say that? Yeah. No, it was a girl. No, no, no. There was two people there. Yeah, both the of guy, them were girls. The guy was... No, no, no. There was the guy taking pictures. And then there was the girl and the other girl. I am telling the story. There was three people there. The man taking pictures of us in the nude and the lady. And then another lady. Anyways, the guy who was taking pictures of us, like, you want a free beverage? And obviously we're like... Fuck yeah. That's not how it went. Obviously, we're like, fuck yeah. And, uh... Like, there's just new en enemies all the time. <laughs> and, uh... What was I saying? So, we walked up, and basically, it makes soda. Like, a tiny glass of soda for you, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but this lady that was working the booth and making the soda for us... Like, we both walked away and looked at each other, and we're immediately like... I can't believe how dumb she, <laughs> she was. She was so, like, unbelievably not smart. She, like, she looked, she was, like, a lovely looking lady, oh, you yeah. know, but, uh, in terms of, like, the things that came out of her face hole, oh, my God. like, it was really bad, and, oh. uh, right now, I, can I say what my job is? Yeah, I don't think it matters, I'm like, I mean, it's your job. Yeah, so my, <laughs> my job right now involves... Uh, exchanging foreign currencies, meaning I, like someone gives me U.S. money, I give he does them, illegal thing. I give them euros, <laughs> and it, you know, if you need to go on vacation or something. And uh, we walked up to this lady, and she's like, "What's your job?" And I was like, "Oh, I, I just work at this place." Like, uh, I said the name of it, and she's like, "What's that?" Understandable. Yeah, because this you, you would say the name of it. I don't even know what. Yeah, this this is where things get tricky. She's. I'm like, oh, I just, like, I exchange money for, like, foreign money, like, euros and Canadian dollars and stuff like that. She's like, uh, oh, so, like, stocks and stuff? Yeah, she's like, it's for, like, <laughs> stocks and stuff? And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, two minutes later of explaining what I did in explicit detail, we'd made no progress no in the progress. conversation. So, finally, we took our vanilla cream sodas and just left and went on our merry <laughs> our merry lives yeah like you were trying to explain her you're like yeah i exchange currency so what do you guys sell there it's like it's a booth you know why would people want to do that you know if they're going to another country and she just kind of looked at you with a blank stare and was like oh 
It's like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. But, uh... So, w with my current job, like I said, I exchange money. But, uh... Exchanging money, you're you're dealing with money. Like, that's yeah. what you sell. In the sense, like, you, you'd need someone who's competent to do the job. It's, it's not like working at, uh... You have to, like, fit yourself in that. I don't think you're in it perfectly, right? I don't have to be. <laughs> the people who come up and apply for this job... Nuts. Insane to me. <laughs> that they're, like... They exist. Because people see a now hiring sign, and if they don't have a job... That's an open invitation. Yeah. <laughs> Someone walked up... And this is the conversation. I'm gonna hit you with exactly what he said. Alright, I wanna know word for word, tit for tat. Are you guys hiring? Yeah. I go, yeah, we are. And he goes, oh, so, like, what's what's the uh, the hours or whatever? I'm like, oh, well, we're looking for someone for, like, 10 hours a week, just part-time or whatever. And he's like, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I'm, I look at him, I'm like, Okay, I, I kind of give him a smile. I'm waiting for, like, can I have an application or something? And, uh, he just looks at me and goes, So how, how are we going to make this thing happen? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, like, when when do you want me to, like, start training or whatever? I was like, that that wasn't an interview. That, <laughs> yeah. that was, I'm just telling you, that's what we're looking for. I'm like, you can, you can apply if you'd like. You yeah. send, you know, a resume. <laughs> you know, of course, he didn't have a resume. <laughs> Skip. Skipping a lot, right? What? You gotta get every gem in the game. Right? That's what I'm doing. Oh. So you just ran past that, don't you? Alright, well, yeah. Yep, but yeah, people, uh... People astound me. Every people day. are... Oh, they're so not smart. <laughs> I've learned the secret to conversation, by the way, with people that don't speak your language. Where uh, people come up all the time when you're like, you know, selling euros and whatever, yeah. and they have wicked, wicked thick accents that I, you can't understand what they're saying. And uh, that's fine because as long as you can get across what you need, that's no problem. But there'll there'll be situations where. They decide that instead of just getting this coin, they want a small talk. <laughs> so, I'll be like, oh, well, here, here's your stuff. And then I'll just hear, like, huh? <laughs> um, I'm like, what? And I, in their brain, they're like, oh, so how's the weather? But that's not what they said. <laughs> and I found out the secret is you just look at them and go, huh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they said. They'll smile, like... Nice, he knew what I said. Uh, he approved of it, he laughed, and he said, yeah. So basically, we're best friends now. And uh, once you establish that you're best friends with them, they usually go away. So <laughs> they go away. I don't want you here anymore. <laughs> uh, so are we just going to look at that? I don't fight those guys because they take way too long to fight, and it's just not worth it. They're really good. They just Yeah, they just put up their shield and... How am I supposed to get to that? Oh. I, it would have taken me a, year, <laughs> a year to find that out. That was intense. Whew. Don't hit me. I like this spellbook. Yeah, this game is so god. I, I like. I think I have a six-hour play time on my other account that I used when I was at school. Yeah, that you played with So if it looks like I'm just kind of speeding through this, it's because I am. But, <laughs> uh, no less, uh, so, uh, actually, um, you, uh, oh, oh my god, every time I have a story, we have no, we barely have any time left in the episode. Oh, dude, the episode's, like, over. Right? Yeah. Shit. Um, but I, I have, time. I, have a, I have an indie game thing that I want to bring up, uh, for next time. Thumb something about indie games. I'll try to remember no. to tell you. It's just so like, don't bother me. <laughs> that was pretty accurate. Even while you're murdering his face hole, he seems kind of yeah. like, Ugh, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't even the boss. No. Um, but I guess uh, I'll tell you that. Indie I guess game, end it right here. Right? Yeah, I'll tell you that indie game story next time on 
I'm gonna about to I'm about to fight a boss actually. All but right, uh, well. see you guys next time on Legendary Sniff. All right, bye everyone.